and happy Friday. Thanks for joining me on Fridays with Flora. And today we're going to talk about irises. Um, I know we're getting to the end of the grows, growing season and I'm still trying to get a lot of work done in the yard because it was a really short growing season because spring just was wet and it was cold and it started really, really late. Um, one of the things you can still get done is splitting irises, which I'm going to show you how to do. Um, I actually just split this bunch um, to film this video. Um, it's good to do when you're noticing that you're getting uh, a lot of congestion around your irises and it's just not blooming as well as in previous years. That means you need to kind of get in there, air it out, split them, and it's a really great and inexpensive way to get extra plants to put in other areas of your yard. So. It's really great to do, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's super, super easy. So join me in the garden, Fridays with Flora. So I pulled out gently a bunch of irises that were over here and over here. I just felt like the clumps were getting a little too crazy, and I felt like that was enough to do this season because they're still, since I pulled all those out, um, it just gives these some room to breathe and grow outward. So I have, I pulled them out. And when you pull them out, cause you know, they're, they're not too deep. You pull out the clumps like so. And there's another clump. Because ideally your irises are sitting a little bit just under the topsoil. So once you have them pulled out, I'm going to show you what to do. So first things first, you kind of want to loosen up and separate the clump. And in the middle of these clumps, there's a used iris stalk. This flowered this year. You don't want that. So you want to pull this out. And you want to pull out anything and discard anything that's spent. So this is also a spent flower. And what you should have left are, oh, here's another one. What you should have left are fanned iris bulb. This gets transplanted. Before I transplant it, you want to trim the stalks about um, halfway up about. Why do we do this? We do this because when we transplant this now, it won't be top heavy and it'll be able to sit and get established in the ground. So keep dividing up your clumps, getting rid of what was spent spent flour and trimming. So you want to dig a hole where you want to put your irises. And you don't want to go too deep. You want to keep it to about four or five inches from the topsoil. Irises like to be buried in shallow earth. So create a little circle about yay deep. three irises. We like to kind of group them in threes. So here's our hole, right? I'm going to put one there. And we're pointing our root bulb inside. 
one there. And one there. And then you're gonna fill it with dirt. And as you're filling it with dirt, kind of set them up a little bit, get them settled and get them straight as you get them in there. And you're going with the kind of your roots down. And the reason why you've trimmed the tops is so they don't, they're not too heavy, but they do flop over. So I'm gonna get, get our dirt and my gloves and I'll show you what to do. set in there. So there you are, see? You kind of set them up a little bit, straighten them up as you fill the dirt around the, the bases. So there you go. I'm going to be adding a few more clumps because I have a lot more irises. But this will propagate pretty fast and I'm going to show you uh, some irises I put in two years ago that were split just like this. Hold on a sec. So these were irises that I propagated these were cuttings from what I just showed you two years ago. And look already how prolific it is. In fact, I probably need to split these next year. So anyway, this is a great way to propagate irises. Share the love too, give them to your neighbors. And that is all with Fridays of Flora. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna show you, this was a weed rocky mess that I have put lots of natives in. Uh, I had a cutting of a Rosa Sharon, butterfly weed, blazing star, little prairie clover, onions, and you can see there's bees. <laughs> If you are interested in native flowers, please check out my book, Be Native Flower Power, to help the pollinators. This is sea lavender, it's really cool. And I'm just starting to finish planting this side of the bed. But hyssop is full of bees right now. So, if you get my book, you can get lots of ideas on natives that you can put within your conventional garden beds and help the pollinators. So anyway, thank you for joining me on Fridays of Flora on my garden and learning how to split irises. It's August, you still can, you can still uh, split and cut them till about the end of the month, maybe early September. So get to it, bye. Subscribe and help us out, and uh, we'll see you next Friday, uh, two Fridays from now. Okay, bye.